There is no other way to start this video than with a doggy update. Look at brother and sister, they get along. I mean, <laughs> every day they were together, they got a little closer. What I'm finding is with two dogs, I cannot keep my floors clean, but we love them so much. Say hi, Bubby. Say hi to everyone, you old man. Yes, we love you. And then this is our people. Say hi to everyone. Say hi. Yeah, say hi. Here they are, brother and sister. <laughs> she has grown so much since you've last seen her, haven't you? <laughs> Look how long her legs are, and she still has a lot of growing to do. But both are super healthy and happy and very well taken care of. Hello, everybody. Um... I wasn't sure I was going to film and then I decided to pick up the camera. I've really kind of been debating if I'd even continue, um, but I, 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 I miss you guys. I like connecting with you. Been really in a weird space of not sure of where I was going to go or do next, but we're also approaching Halloween and Thanksgiving and all things fall and then Christmas, of course. Uh, so, yeah, I've made no decisions on what will come next or anything and just kind of taking it day in, day out, one day at a time. So, yeah, here we are. I'm filming. Hopefully this footage sees the light of day. I cannot tell you how many times I film and never finish publishing it. However, the goal today will be to publish this video. We're gonna catch up on some fall decor. I've already found a couple great pieces and have already started doing some of my decorating. And I've been really, really happy with it so far. Uh, yeah, and then just a couple house updates. And then I would love to just talk. Maybe we'll start with that. Life has been crazy. With my promotion at work, I am actually running two teams. So I have about a 100 plus adults that I'm in charge of, and it is a lot of work to say the least. Some really, really long days, not much free time on my weekends, but it has been really worth it, and we are definitely all moving in the same aligned and positive direction, despite the hiccups that will happen along the way, but I couldn't be more proud of how hard everyone is working times are hard as far as having people being fully staffed, all of those pieces. So those are the challenges that we're facing every day and it's requiring a lot of resilience on everyone's part and really testing my emotional resilience, which if I'm completely honest has not always been the best. And I think work has been a very good distraction for the way I have felt recently or lately, there was something about turning 40. 40 didn't come in with a bang and I have felt kind of off my entire year. Um, I've struggled with a couple different things. I think my job requires me to be such an extrovert when I am an introvert. I'm also going to say extroverts are not like the desired personality type. I think there is, I know there is space for extroverts and introverts. So I'm not saying that being an introvert is bad. That's who I am naturally, which I think a lot of people automatically assume I'm an extrovert because I tend to be outgoing. I tend to be really talkative. But in those situations, it's here in my house with a camera or it's in a work setting where I feel confident and in control and I know what is required of me. I think if you put me in any other setting where my closest and very small inner circle is at. I look very social, but if you take my very close and small inner circle out of a social setting, I'm incredibly awkward um, and very quiet to the point where like, I don't know a lot of my neighbors where Steven knows all of them just because I don't interact really with them because that's just not who I am. I really do avoid a lot of social situations to the point where I have had to challenge myself to go out socially 
and I actually just wrote a recent post regarding this that Stephen and I ended up being invited to go out to dinner with a neighbor, a neighbor that we've not ever hung out with, but they invited us and Stephen accepted on our behalf. And the whole hour leading up to the dinner, I looked for every excuse to stay late at work and not do it. And like, I texted Stephen and was like, I'm not sure if I can make it. And he was like, no, you'll be there. I'll go there first and you can come straight from work. So I ended up going and I really enjoyed myself, but to other people that doesn't seem like a big deal and it actually in reality is a big deal. Last night, Stephen and I made dinner reservations to go out on a date night and about an hour before, I was like, oh, I worked out really hard, I'm really sore, like kind of trying to get out of it. And Stephen once again pushed me to go and I actually enjoyed myself and had a really good time. But I think for most people, like going out to dinner with your husband or spouse or partner, or with a neighbor would be no big deal. But to me, it feels like a monumental task to the point where like, I feel tired when I get home. I know that I have to continue to push myself within social situations to become better, but like, it's something I've really grappled with. I also think it's one of the main reasons I haven't filmed as much because I would prefer to just not do it. So I know these are moments where I have to continue to like keep doing the work to get better at it. Um, because I also know that when I do it, I thoroughly enjoy the process at the end. So this is something I've battled with. I also think it comes down to a lot of insecurities around how I look. I was once extremely heavy. Um, I battled an eating disorder and got really, really thin, um, thinking that that would solve all the world's problems, but like you're not <laughs> happy any happier at what you thought was your goal weight. And then I've put on weight with some health issues and things like that. Um, and now I'm trying to somewhere find the happy medium of it all. And I feel really good. Yesterday I ran for an hour and I don't think at my thinnest I would have been able to do that. But I feel pretty good, but a long ways to go. So I do think some of that social anxiety comes from not feeling great in my skin, so. It's what I've been dealing with and I have found a couple things that have really helped me. I set five challenges for the month to socialize in a way that maybe makes me a little bit more uncomfortable and really kind of push my comfort level with that because I think like where you kind of push your comfort is where growth will happen and I want the growth. I do want to change. I want to be more social. There was a time in my life where I definitely thrived and was more social and I, I miss that part of me and I want to bring it back and all. So yeah, hopefully over the next year, um, although I'm not giving myself a timeline, you see me begin to push myself a little bit more in that aspect of my life. So those are just some of the feelings I have been grappling with and dealing with and um, adding the stress of work, which I love my work and I love my job, but adding another layer or outside stressor within the mix has just led to me like being in more of a funk to the point where friends have called me and I've avoided the call just to not have to talk to someone or <laughs> Danielle called me I think it might have been Friday or it was Thursday. And I literally said to her, like, I don't feel like talking to anyone. And she was like, okay, well then I'll hang up. But then I was like, no, let's keep talking. And we ended up talking for quite some time. Um, but yeah, it's just a space that I've been in, but also a, it's a familiar space. And I know that it can change with time and with work and um, with, being able to name what's happening and what you're feeling, I think is the first step. And I know it's the first step of really being able to move forward in a positive way, in a positive trajectory. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna to continue to push myself to film more. If, if you knew how much time I have put into filming in the last two months and then just literally deleted the card, you would be astonished because I've done the work and then just deleted it all, which is kind of 
annoying to think about, but hopefully this one sees the light of day. I don't know if any of this makes sense. You all know that I am not a sit down chatter vlogger. Um, it's something I hope to do more. I hope that this resonates with you and that you are not alone. And we are never alone no matter the circumstance. There's always someone that connects with what you are saying. Yeah, you're doing a great job. Keep it up. So the first space in our house that has gotten a little bit of a refresh is our dining room. So we kept the side chairs the same, but added these two really beautiful upholstered to the ground skirted armchairs, which I love the look. Also, people have noticed that Bubby's bench is gone over there. That's because his legs aren't strong enough in the back to support him, and we don't want to build the habit that we built with Bubby in the window with Mabel. She is a little bit more of a calmer dog when it comes to people at the door and stuff. But a couple things have shifted in here. So those two new armchairs, and then I've kind of revamped this vase situation. I found this one at Michael's. This one is from Target. And then this is that old Pottery Barn one that I bought years ago in a vlog. It was white and I just painted it myself and kind of sanded it down. You'll see where I've like sanded it to just distress it a little bit more. And I kind of love this trio. I messed with some greenery in it, but I really love like the cleanness of the empty containers. Over in that corner are Serena and Lily baskets. They are by far the best baskets. I also have one that is even larger than those, and they are in my office, but they're just beautiful woven baskets. This one is housing all of my Halloween decor that I've been collecting. Typically, they're pretty empty. This one just has like some stretch and weight stuff in it, but this one's usually pretty empty, but like seasonal decor that I'm collecting over time, I've added in there. And then over here, I added some simple dried flowers that I picked up at Michael's for fall touch. And then these amazing picture lights from Amazon. They are rechargeable. They don't need to be wired into the wall, but they look so chic and they really make a space feel more expensive. And over here, I have finally found electronic tapers that I really love the look of them. They're on a timer. Maybe if I don't edit this too soon, I can catch you up on it or I'll share them over on Instagram. And then these wall sconces I recently picked up at Pottery Barn. I knew I wanted just one more detail and a source of light on this wall. And this is exactly what I needed it to be. I just love the look and feel of this space with the dark pantry over there and then the same wood trim with the grass cloth. I just think it just feels really good and I just love the space. I will leave all the things that I talk about linked below for you. Over here, nothing has shifted for my fall decor. I kept this gold urn vase that was sent to me by a subscriber. They're two of my favorite things. She sent me two of them and I use them. I pulled these greens out of a Studio McGee vase that I had and added them to there. I just love how like wispy and fall like they are. And then I threw in a pumpkin, that's it. And this is like a very grassy textured pumpkin that I've had for I don't know how long. Oh, that's the other big change. So, switched out all my rugs because I wanted them all to match. These are the best rugs. They are very reasonably priced from New Loom. This is a nine by 13 because this dining room needs a big rug. This is the oval one. It is taking the oval a little bit longer to lay flat. However, it will. With these natural fiber like seagrass or, um, uh, seagrass or why is the name escaping me? Anyway, these naturally braided rugs, a lot of them shed and make a mess. However, these don't. They're not wonderful on the feet. They're actually a little scratchy and not super comfortable, but they do break in and become much softer because I've had this one for years under my um, kitchen table and it has definitely broken in and gotten softer. With our antique rug and some other 
rugs around the house. I wanted everything on this main floor to definitely blend in, so that's why I went with these new loom rugs and brought them all together to match. And I'm really happy. I also love the oval shape. Our entryway, I have some garland happening. I don't know if I'm fixed on this situation. It's sagging a little bit. I need to fix it. But I do love this big runner I found. This is from Amazon. It's an indoor outdoor rug. And then these two large like wicker pumpkins are from Target. I also bought these tree vases. <laughs> these tree vases. I bought these two artificial cypress. They were very reasonably priced, but I don't love them. But I also haven't spent enough time trying to shape them or get them evenly in the pot. So I will not link them until I've worked with them a little bit more and given them a fair shot. But that's what is happening out here. And then we also, with the white trim and everything, we had our shutters redone. So now we have black shutters on the house, which we're very, very happy with very much go with the aesthetic of the white trim and the tan, and then of course our door that's Acacia Haze. So this is kind of what I have going on out here. Hi, sir. Can I come? <gasps> Hi, both doggies are here. No, 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 we're staying in, we're staying in, we're staying in. I will say Miss Mabel is completely off leash trained. She doesn't leave the yard. She is so, so good. As far as other little fall touches, I don't have that many. I like to keep it pretty simple. And my house lends itself to fall decor. So all I added in here are these hysterical golden squirrels that I bought at Target maybe last year or the year before. And I just love like the quirkiness of them in that space. In here, the living room, not really added a whole lot. I have some very neutral pumpkins. That's another one of those woven pumpkins from Target. And then these I found at Michael's and I just think they're so darling. They have little lids. I think making this into like a little salt crock in your kitchen would be adorable. Then on my mantle, all I did was added this beautiful like wineish red garland from a floral one of my favorite places for fake florals and then a couple leaf sprigs that i had already in my fall bin another one of those pumpkins the vases are the same the candles stayed the same but i really really love the simple look all of this is the same see my pillows lent themselves to fall then over here another one of those really adorable pumpkins, and then this little like sedum that was at Target. Ugh, also, you guys saw this on Instagram and everyone asked, so I'll definitely link it for you. This is the cutest wireless diffuser. I love to like have it on when I'm like journaling. It's beautiful and it also doesn't stand out. It's very nice and clean and simple. I'll link that because it works very well. It charges in about one to two hours and then lasts two to three. All you need it for. Another thing worth talking about, I could not find dog mats that I loved. These are real dog mats. They are soft for them to stand on. They are big enough to catch a mess. I'm super happy with them. I will leave those linked if you are like us, have aggressive drinkers. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds funny, but Mabel is a super aggressive drinker and we need something to catch the mess. As far as the rest of the kitchen, I've kept it pretty simple. These are the sprigs that go with the garland I bought from A Floral. They're beautiful. This vase is from our house. I just love how like full and big that looks. Due to that, I've kept it pretty simple everywhere else. I just have my big, no, well, it's not big. I just have my pumpkin crock that I bought at Target and then painted black. I don't use it for cooking. I just keep it on the stove for decoration. I picked this up today because I have the other two pieces and I am going to do some Halloween decorating. So stay tuned, I have some big ideas for that. And then I added another one of those afloral garlands. Like I said, I'll leave them linked because the quality of their florals are so good. If you remember last year, some of the green, the faux greenery I bought that was like so drapey and beautiful, that was from A Floral. The quality is good, the price point's a little higher, 
um, than some other places you would go to buy picks or sprays. However, the quality, the realistic feel of them, the way they hang, it cannot be beat. Then over here in my antique dough bowl, I, did, I found these corn, like, like corn cobs from Target. They were bundled in like groups of three and I just cut them and unbundled them and added them in here because I don't like them like clustered. Same dried floral from Michaels. I just added into this vase because my lavender was dying. I did pick up this little cauldron at Target today. I'm gonna tuck it away till I'm ready to get out all my decor. And then this is always the same. I just have this picture hanging up and then this little vignette and my Stanley cup because I'm always drinking water. So that is really all the fall that's in the house. I did tuck a few little pumpkins in here because it just goes with like the color theme. Those are from like the Target dollar bin years ago. But I think that's it. I added a pumpkin here in the pantry. So there's that. I also found these old bronze pencil sharpeners that my grandmother collected and I added those to the shelf. I have those two saved. I think I did and then in the pantry pantry I did throw a pumpkin on that cake stand and switched out the florals in that vase. But that's kind of, well not kind of, that is the house for the fall. It is a super dreary, 60 degree rainy day today. So we are really just chilling out. I made Steven some homemade cinnamon rolls. I had some pizza dough I had made in the freezer. So I thawed it out overnight. Then I just made cinnamon rolls with the pizza dough, 375. 20, 25 minutes. I just kept an eye on them and I did them with pecans and oh, obviously cinnamon, butter, and sugar. Super simple. Threw them together this morning for him. And I'm gonna make a big pot of chicken noodle soup, which I need to text Steven because he ran out to get rotisserie chickens that I need to prep for the week. However, he wanted a loaf of bread to go with the soup and I know if I don't text him, he'll forget. <sighs> I was watching some of the US Open and they're on a rain delay, so they are replaying some of the Serena. Oh. Let's not be sad that it's over, let's be glad that it happened. I am going to miss watching her play. I absolutely <laughs> sobbed Friday night when it was all said and done. For lunch, Steven actually just took the dogs and I have leftovers from dinner last night. I'll show you what I have. We actually went to one of our favorite vegan restaurants and I got buffalo cauliflower and uh, celery slaw. So I'm actually gonna put these on a cookie sheet because if I heat them up in the microwave, they're going to get a little mushy. So we'll do them in the oven and hopefully crisp them back up, but that's going to be my lunch. While it is stopped raining, I am going to go out and grab some herbs from the herb garden. What are you doing? You okay? <laughs> she was chasing me. I just slid on the grass. <laughs> Look at these herbs. They're a little out of control. But I'm going to go ahead and gather some thyme, maybe a little oregano, and then try to make a dent in some parsley. My herbs are all prepped for my soup. My chicken noodle soup is super basic. This will just spice up the broth a little bit to make it feel a little bit more homemade. So I have just some oregano, some thyme, and a lot of parsley. I really love the freshness of parsley and lemon in any chicken-based soup. And I am actually going to wrap this up here. I've been editing it a little bit as the morning has gone, and it's pretty long already. And this then saves me some time to enjoy the rest of my day, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. But it has been, sorry the TV's loud right now, but it has been fun catching up with all of you. And I'll end it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, which will hopefully be soon, but who knows. Bye-bye.